the March listed stokes is next. This is a one and three quarter mile listed event for three year olds and upwards. And at the top, we've got Airborne Ellis for David Robertson. Hills Patchy, Dan Hughes, Foxtown Alex Cherry, Riot Act Leon Van Rensburg, Windy City Padre Hogan, Alarming John Morgan, Ramatuel Guard for Derek Hinton, and So Alive for Craig Beckwith. Field of eight. And this mile and six furlong listed event. All installed and ready to go. And away they go, a little bit slow. There was airborne Ellis, but nothing to be too alarmed about as they make their way through the first furlong and sort themselves out. A Ramatuel guard for Derek Hinton has gone into the lead, and the rest of the jockeys will be wise to note that in the last two races, Derek Hinton's horses have gone out into the lead and stayed there. So this Ramatuel guard is trying to make it three on the trot front running winners for Derek Hinton and at the moment it's six lengths to the good but there's an awful long way to go yet. Six or seventh then lead now for Rama 12 guard. So Alive is in second, Foxtail is in third, then Ryan Act is fourth. Then comes the Grey Airborne Ellis. And then after that all Hills, Patchy, Alarman and finally Windy City. Rama 12 guard is bowling along quite heavily in the lead. A lead of about six or seven lengths. To So Alive and Right Act to share second. And Foxtail on the outside, widest of all the grey airborne Ellis. Alarming and Foxtail after that one, then Hills Patchy. And finally, Windy City. Just at the back, they're into the final mile now. And Rama 12 guard continues to lead by six or seven. And Airborne Ellis probably just showing second there. Ahead of Riot Attack, then Alarming on the inside of that one is third. And Foxtail and Hills Patchy. With Windy City and So Alive the back two. And the leader starting to come back to them a bit now, only four lengths up on Riot Act in second. Airborne Ellis wider third. Alarming is getting a nice. Little split up the inside. Hills Patchy is still nicely placed. So Alive's trying to make a forward move. The one that's just lost its place is Foxtail. But Rama 12 Guards lead is down to a little more than two now. And they're queuing up behind to take this one on with four and a half to go. Rama 12 Guard now being joined by Alarming and Hills Patchy. Riot Act and So Alive tucked in behind. Then comes Windy City who's made a forward move. Airborne Ellis is next. And then Foxtail no more than four lengths first to last as Hills Patchy takes the lead. It's Hills Patchy who's gone on then from Alarming in second. Riot City going back into it again. Then comes Rama 12 Guard who's now losing his place on the inside. But it's Hills Patchy who's gone on. Hills Patchy is too clear now then with two and a half to go. Hills Patchy from Riot Act in second. Windy City is third. Alarming's got the rail on the inside. Foxtail's trying to come round the outside. Wider still airborne and it's Rama 12 Guard is down tailing off but it's Hills Patchy who's still too clear then with a furlong to go. It's Hills Patchy in the lead. Come past the furlong pole now. That's a little look round. Riot Act is in second. Alarming is in third and airborne this is fourth but Hills Patchy is still going nicely in the lead. Jockey's playing it a bit cool as they race up towards the line. He's got it off onto the tank. They're taking nothing up towards the line. It's Hills Patchy that wins it. Alarming on his second right at third air one on his four then so alive windy city foxdale and finally rama 12 guard as hills patchy takes it pretty comfortably in the end the jockey was very confident having a little look around to see where everybody was and not panicking at all so the march stakes Goes to Hills Patchy and Dan Hughes running in totally the wrong colours. It just totally threw me there because I was thinking it was Thomas Rogers, but it wasn't. It was Dan Hughes. Alarm in second for John Morgan. Right attack for Leon Van Rensburg third. Airborne Ellis, David Robertson fourth. And so alive for Craig Beckwith was fifth.